Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Libra for the month of November. These messages here are from your angels and guides who want to help you to attract and create the love that you desire. So now if you were drawn to this video, then these messages are for you. The first card I've drawn for your sign is the distorted feminine. I'll just show you this card here. The distorted feminine may not appear to run the world in the same way the distorted masculine does. Yet it is commonplace and as equally destructive. The distorted feminine is characterized by negative emotions, depression, neediness, a sense of going around in circles or need for pointless drama, feeling unattractive or being trapped and powerless. In this mode, the feminine can even be dishonest by means of manipulation, not saying what she really means or by being unclear about what she needs. This gives rise to unspoken or even unfair expectations. The distorted feminine may seek to catch out or trip up another in order to have something to be angry or upset about. This need for attention, whatever the, whatever the cost and expression of insecurity, can damage her health, her relationships, and even her career prospects. After centuries of living in the shadows, receiving little credit for her effort and shouldering guilt and blame at the hands of global institutions, the feminine is tired. Maybe she feels unloved and unsupported by the masculine in her world. Maybe life seems like a struggle. With some of these things, while some of these things may be true, remaining in the distorted feminine is not the way to resolve them. You've drawn this card today because the distorted feminine is lurking somewhere in your life and is asking to be acknowledged and healed. Be honest with yourself about what is really happening. This is the first huge step towards empowerment. Are you constantly becoming involved with the wrong kind of partner? Do you blame your mate for the things that aren't working in your life? Do you second guess yourself or imagine that other people um, think ill of you? Are you afraid to ask for what you really need and want? Or are you waiting until someone else figures it out and gives it to you? Are you dwelling on old feelings of hurt or disappointment? Your angels and spirit guides want you to know that now is the time to bring this energy to the surface Bless it for what it has taught you, then let it go. It is time to live in and for the present. The next message I have for you is self-respect. Whether you are in a relationship or not, self-respect is the key to how other people perceive and treat you. Sometimes self-respect may seem to take you down a lonely road, but even that part of the journey is worthwhile. If you aren't willing to speak up for what you believe in, walk away from situations that are damaging to you and act from your own integrity, then how can anyone else truly know or care for you? At times, it's tempting to compromise your self-respect for security or survival. 
And as a short-term measure, this may be necessary while you get your life in order, but as a long-term measure, this is unhealthy for you, for your heart, and for your soul. You've drawn this card today because the universe would like you to have a look at the ways that you have compromised yourself in the past or present in order to secure or maintain a relationship. Real life and spiritual growth are not about taking the convenient path. In fact, love and spiritual growth often demand that we face challenging situations in order to confirm our commitment to what we say that we want. Most people breach their own integrity and compromise their self-respect from time to time. Living a fulfilling life is not about being perfect. It's about acknowledging what is and choosing a healthier course of action from now on. When you live from your truth, a life of integrity and self-respect are the natural outcomes and your angels, spirit guides and the entire universe are standing by to help you attain that level of quality and fulfillment. Ask for their help and act on their guidance and the urging of your own intuition, your gut and your heart. Your final message, don't relinquish your power. You have created a blueprint, a blueprint for yourself and your role in this matrix of life is vital. Never be less than who you are. If this card appears in your spread, and it has, examine how you may be taking a back seat in the dynamics of this incarnation. It may seem like an easier row to hoe if you acquiesce to others, but in reality, you're doing a disservice not only to yourself, but your soul family. Your influence matters. Your opinions matter. It is part of your birthright. Don't be so quick to undermine yourself and give away the strength of your convictions. The puzzle pieces that create the bigger picture don't come together as a whole if you choose not to participate. Have faith in yourself and know that your emotions are manifesting in a certain way and at a certain time for a reason. Many insecure humans try to take away the power of others to build up their own shortcomings. Be aware that this is the result of a fragile ego. Acknowledge this and don't engage in their attempts at manipulation. Be steadfast. Have resolve. So Libra, I hope that um, these messages have helped you. Um, I hope um, that they could be that first step to help you to be able to create the love that you desire. And I thank you for listening. Many blessings.